huge, uh, humongous uh, victory here in the state. Uh, and now a similar sort of uh, uh, performance needs to be repeated in 2024. And that is why our responsibility will be there on the shoulder of uh, Vishnu Dev Sai and also on the uh, central leadership. Uh, but uh, the, uh, after this announcement, uh, it is certainly telling us that uh, uh, Vishnu Dev Sai is the, uh, is the one who is being also liked by the central leadership. And after this, we can see similar sort of new faces in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan and then they will also have uh, the similar sort of responsibilities. Um, what we are also given to understand is that um, they could be at the meeting of MLAs uh, tomorrow in uh, Madhya Pradesh and then thereafter, day after tomorrow, they will be meeting of MLAs in Rajasthan and then we can again see the fresh faces. But let me continue to try to show you visuals um, of the BJP. Okay, Piyush, I'm just going to come back to you. I'm just going to come back to you for that ground report. A lot of live reactions also coming in now to this announcement by the BJP. Let's cut across. Okay, we'll uh, get you all the reactions in just a bit. Uh, but this is the big breaking news that's coming in. Vishnu Diosai has been named as the new Chhattisgarh Chief Minister. Just to give you a brief profile of this tribal face of the BJP in Chhattisgarh. He's won this time around from the Kunkuri Assembly seat, which is in North Chattis, uh, Chhattisgarh, uh, has served as a president, as the chief of the Chhattisgarh BJP unit. And uh, this was somewhere between 2020 to 2022 or so. So for about two years, many would say that Vishnu Diyosai is the one who laid the groundwork for the victory that we've seen in 2023. He's got administrative experience, ministerial experience, considering uh, that he's also served as a union minister in the first Modi cabinet in 2014. Now, uh, he's been elected as a member of parliament from Raigad four times, from 1999 to 2014. And all of these years, from his political career then from 1990s to now, he's been associated with the BJP. So much so, that in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, he was snubbed. He wasn't given a ticket because of the BJP strategy uh, owing to the drubbing that they received in the 2018 elections. They chose not to give sitting MP a chance again. They chose all new faces. So even Vishnu uh, Diosai didn't get a chance to get his ticket again in 2019. He was patient, however. Now decided uh, they decided to give him a ticket in the assembly elections. It's reaped dividends for them. And they're also, the BJP sending out a message by choosing him uh, as the second tribal chief minister after Ajit Jogi in the state of Chhattisgarh. There's a reason for that. And that's because the BJP's numbers, as far as as, uh, the tribal voters concerned grew phenomenally from 3 in 2018 to 17 in 2023. That tells you why the BJP has really gone with the Vishnu Diosai, hoping that it will also mean the same kind of results for them in 2024 as well. I can see a lot of supporters who've gathered there. Let's cut across to some reactions. <laughs> वो भी बहुत बड़ा काम करेंगे और 2024 में उनके नेतृत्व में 11 की 11 सीट लोकसभा की मोदी जी को समर्पित करेंगे सब साथ देंगे सब साथ देंगे पूरे क्या कार्यकर्ता साथ में कोई दिक्कत नहीं है सब साथ देंगे भाई साहब हरीश गांधी जिला अध्यक्ष हिंदू जागरण On the right of your screens, first images coming in from inside. This is the meeting venue where 54 of the newly elected BJP MLAs have gathered. The central observers, uh, including uh, Sarbananda Sonowal, Arjun Munda, they are currently there to kind of oversee the process. They relayed to the MLAs that this is the decision taken by the high command that they have gone ahead and chosen Vishnu Diosai. We're yet to hear from uh, inside of the legislators are all on board. Our few of them in the belief that it should be someone else or all they all unanimously agreeing with the high command's decision in the BJP of course there's very little room or scope for any sort of rebellion but it will still be interesting to see whether everyone is 100% backing a tribal face to be the chief minister or not there were three or four contenders besides Vishnu Diosai whose name was doing the rounds there was of course former chief minister Raman Singh Arun Tao Renuka Singh all of these names were doing 
the rounds. One of them, of course, uh, Renuka Singh, if she was chosen, would be a big boost as far as the BJP choosing a woman face was concerned. Uh, you had uh, Raman Singh, who is, of course, uh, a safe bet, considering that he served as the chief minister previously. But the fact that the BJP is gone with Vishnu Diyosai tells you that they wanted to ensure that as a tribal face, and that is perhaps the biggest card that's worked in his favor. Let's cut across to more reactions. All right, we've lost that uh, connection. We'll uh, uh, get you more live reactions in just a bit. A, a mood of celebration that's broken out right now outside the BJP office, outside the venue of uh, the CLP that's underway. Piyush is with us. Piyush, any word from inside the venue? All right. Thank you. 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 ये सारी योजनाओं को हम लागू करेंगे All right, let's take this across uh, to Piyush Mishra once again. Piyush, uh, you know, is there any information you've been able to pick up from within the meeting venue? What was the uh, mood like when the announcement was made by the Central Observers that the High Command has chosen Mr. Vishnu Diyosai? Are all MLAs on board? <laughs> Apologies. We'll reconnect with Piyush in just a bit. There's a, uh, a lot of uh, music and dance, as you can see there on your screens. We're expecting any time now the BJP leadership to step out after the meeting and officially announce the name of Vishnu Diyosai. It was here on India Today that we told you first that of the three states, the BJP has ended the suspense as far as Chhattisgarh is concerned by going ahead and naming Vishnu Diyosai as the chief minister of Chhattisgarh. A tribal face, he is someone who has in fact been a grassroots worker for the BJP in the state of Chhattisgarh, has represented the state in parliament several occasions, has represented as an MLA on several occasions, has been in fact the BJP Chhattisgarh chief, has served as a union minister, so has of course a whole amount of experience behind him. And yet many would say that this did come as a bit of a surprise, with the BJP not really uh, you know, giving or divulging any details of who could be a front runner he was definitely considered to be a contender but the fact that their BJP has chosen a tribal phase is most definitely a strategic decision one that perhaps many wouldn't have seen coming because uh, there was talk of Raman Singh and Renuka uh, Singh essentially being the front runners but as expected from the BJP pulling off a last minute surprise the central leadership who is currently there observers who've been appointed by the BJP who are currently in Raipur have communicated Communicated to the MLAs that the choice of the high command is Vishnu Diyosai. So it is expected that any moment now there will be an official communication also sent across about Mr. Vishnu Diyosai's elevation as Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. I understand Piyush Mishra is back with us. Piyush, celebrations across there. But a question I was asking you earlier, if you can hear me, is whether you're able to pick up any details of what's happening inside the meeting venue. Are all MLAs on board? Are they all okay with Vishnu Diyosai as the next Chief Minister? Minister. Well, Lakshita, right now all the MLAs are still inside uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the BJP headquarters, including uh, central observers, uh, uh, not only central observers, but also the in charge of parties. They are also inside uh, the BJP headquarters. But right outside the BJP office, uh, we have uh, the visuals of celebrations. You can see how the workers of BJP are uh, dancing. Party ने सीएम के दूंगे उसको 
साकार किया बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद भारतीय जनता पार्टी खुशा ये बहुत चीज है ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार है कार्यकर्ता खुश है जिसको कुछ हम बनाएगा हम कार्यकर्ता खुश है ये मोदी की गारंटी है जनता ने विश्वास किया है ये हमने आज जो बोलते हैं वो करके दिखाते हैं माफिया राज खत्म होगा छत्तीसगढ़ में बुलडोजर चलेगा मोदी की गारंटी मोदी की गारंटी है बुलडोजर चलेगा बीजेपी वोट्स कमिंग इन फ्रॉम द बीजेपी वर्कर्स हु आर राइट नाउ सीन डांसिंग ऑल्सो Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh, new Chief Minister. Remember that when BJP had its government for 15 years, it was Raman Singh who was at the helm, and he was the one who was leading the organisation. He was also leading the or the not only government but also organisation here in this state. And now, Krishna Sahib, fresh face who has been a part of the organisation for the last many years. He nurtured the organisation, and he was the MP from Bilaspur. Okay, so the celebrations there breaking out of the BJP office. I'm going to come back to you, Piyush. I'm going to come back to you in a few moments from now as we track what's happening at the BJP office. Remember these celebrations breaking out minutes after India Today confirmed to you that Vishnu Deosai is going to be named as the new Chhattisgarh Chief Minister. We'll get you more on that on the other side of a very, very short break. India today. The dedication of Indians living in the UAE towards this temple is evident in the community service that you see. Many come in throngs to do seva or service at the temple, helping in any which way they can. BAP's Hindu Mandir team also focused on sustainability, ensuring that sustainable materials such as fly ash is used and wood repurposed. So what's really phenomenal about the temple and the way that it's been constructed, it goes hand in hand with the UAE's vision and the world vision with COP that's taking place over here. Uh, the temple has actually been built with that specific purpose of being you know, eco-friendly and very green. So if you look at the complete foundation, almost 55% is being used to construct the foundation with fly ash, which is extremely green. To be repurposed into furniture, so we're trying to recycle as much as we can to keep the environmental green. In August 2015, the UAE government announced the decision to provide land for building a Hindu Mandir in Abu Dhabi during Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first official visit to the country. On 10th of February 2018, BAP's representatives met Sheikh Mohammed and the Indian Prime Minister in the Presidential Palace and an MOU was signed in the presence of the entire royal family and over 250 local leaders. Prime Minister Narendra Modi witnessed the ceremony via live stream from the Dubai Opera House.
Weather forecast now. Delhi, maximum 25 and minimum 10 degrees. Mumbai, maximum 29 and minimum 25 degrees. Kolkata, maximum 27 and minimum 17 degrees. Bangalore, maximum 27 and minimum 21 degrees. Chennai, maximum 28 and minimum 25 degrees. Hyderabad, maximum 28 and minimum 17 degrees. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjtag.com. India Today. Welcome back. The suspense over who will be the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh has finally come to an end. With India Today getting you this exclusive news break, Vishnu Deosai is being named as the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. It's been communicated by the Central Observers to MLAs who are currently seated in that Legislative Party meet. Anytime now, you can expect the leadership to step out and officially make the communication that it is Vishnu Deosai, a tribal face, who's been chosen as the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. It has come as a big, big development, considering that there were many contenders. The BJP was playing its cards close to its chest on who exactly could be the front runner, but it looks like they've decided to go ahead and choose a tribal phase, which means that Chhattisgarh will be getting only its second tribal chief minister after Ajit Jogi. It's now Vishnu Deosai. He served as a union minister previously in uh, the 2014 Modi cabinet. He's been uh, the BJP Chhattisgarh chief from 2020 to 2022 till last year. <laughs> नर्मदा मैया के चरणों में प्रणाम किया और यही प्रार्थना की कि मध्य प्रदेश की जनता हमारी बहनें हमारे भाई बेटा बेटी सब सुखी हो सब निरोग हो सबका मंगल हो सबका कल्याण हो भारतीय जनता पार्टी को भारी बहुमत मिला है इसलिए उनके चरणों में प्रणाम किया Okay, brief reaction that's coming from uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, who's currently the caretaker chief minister of Madhya Pradesh, not really divulging what's going to happen in MP next, because that's another state that's being keenly watched with the BJP yet to announce who will be the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh. But let's bring the focus back to Chhattisgarh. First images on your screens right now from the meet venue of uh, all leaders right now felicitating Vishnu Deosai. MLA is coming forward to garland him, celebrate outside it's clear that celebrations are broken out inside as well he is known to be a close aide of Raman Singh but there you have that very close moment between uh, the two be chief minister of Chhattisgarh Vishnu Deosai and the central observer Sargun on the Sonowal is there on stage all of them there and you can see that he's been garlanded felicitated by MLA's seemingly the message is that this is a, a decision taken by the high command that the MLAs also are in agreement over. And why won't they be? Vishnu Deosai essentially ticks all the boxes. He's a tribal face. The BJP has made huge inroads this time uh, as far as the tribal dominated seats are concerned in Chhattisgarh. He is someone who's got administrative experience. He served as a minister previously, as a union minister previously. So in the center as well as the state, he's worked through and through. Uh, he's someone who's 
a grassroots worker, has risen in the ranks within the BJP, a close aide of Raman Singh. So all of this makes him extremely agreeable, both for the high command sitting in Delhi and for the leaders who are based in Chhattisgarh, which is why you see this kind of a rousing uh, a welcome to the news that Vishnu Deosai is the next chief minister of Chhattisgarh. Let's listen in to see if he's also speaking, interacting with the media. Vishnu to your side yet to react only at this point thanking everyone for the support but one MLA after another coming in to garland the uh, new chief minister of Chhattisgarh. We don't have details yet about uh, the oath-taking ceremony, when it will happen, but so far, looking at the images on our screens, it definitely looks like he's got all of the support of the 54 MLAs. They seem extremely happy with the High Command's decision. Seven days on, now there's clarity that the man you see on your screens, viewers, Vishnu Diyosai, is going to be the next Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. He is someone who's been favoured because of his links to the RSS uh, because of the fact that he's worked with the BJP from the 90s to today, taking it to the stupendous victory also. Many would say that he's had a crucial role to play, especially in viewing, uh, in viewing the tribal vote. Let's play out for you and listen in if he's uh, interacting with the media currently. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, don't think he's interacting with the media, but we're going to stand by. All right, let's cut across to live reactions. Chhattisgarh ke naye mukhyantri ke roop mein, Bharti vidhay, Bharti Janata Party ke vidhayak dal ke neta ke roop mein, Sri Vishnu Dev Sai ji ka chayan ho chuka hai, aur unke netit mein ab Chhattisgarh mein garibon ke kalyan ke liye sab aneko kare jo Narendra Modi ji ne guarantee mein diye hain. उसे सब क्रियान्वित करने का काम हम लोग करेंगे। सर सरगुजा में जो लैंडस्लाइड विक्ट्री रही क्या वो कारण था विष्णु देव जी को चुनने का या और कोई फैक्टर? नहीं नहीं वो सभी विधायकों की राय से और नेता चुने गए हैं और पूरे प्रदेश में लैंडस्लाइड विक्ट्री हुई है इसलिए ये कहना कि ये हुआ वो हुआ गलत है एक बहुत ही अच्छे सुलझे हुए वरिष्ठ नेता का चयन हुआ है और प्रदेश उसमें आगे I can get you more reactions from MLAs inside that meeting venue where all of them are now hailing the decision by the high command and essentially uh, confirming that they agree with the decision that's been taken of making Vishnu Diyosai as the next chief minister of Chhattisgarh. Celebrations inside. Piyush Mishra is joining us from outside the BJP office where there too, Piyush, celebrations have broken out with the announcement expected any time now that Vishnu Diyosai is the next chief minister of Chhattisgarh. <laughs> Sir, one of the central observers who is currently in Raipur, who also communicated the decision, more reactions. छत्तीसगढ़ की जनता जनार्दन के लिए काम करेंगे। सर सीएम के साथ साथ क्या डिप्टी सीएम वाला भी कोई फैक्टर है? नहीं अभी यहाँ पर कोई घोषणा नहीं हुई है। अदरनी विश्वदेव साईजी को मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में विधायक दल के नेता के रूप में चयनित कर लिया गया है। सर और क्या क्या फैक्टर रहे सरगुजा में निश्चित रूप से एक हमारे वरिष्ठ नेता है बहुत अनुभव है उनको वनवासी पार्टिकुलर पूरे छत्तीसगढ़ के लोगों के लिए ये बड़ी खुशी का विषय है कि आदरणीय विष्णुदेव साय जी को को छत्तीसगढ़ के कार्यात्रित दिया गया Okay, reactions continuing to pour in. The central observers there, Arjun Munda, Sarban on Sonawal, not really willing to speak on what really was the criteria based on which Vishnu Diyosai was chosen as the chief minister of Chhattisgarh. What made him the front runner? Well, at this point, 
Let's cut across to reactions. Let's cut across to Everyone now felicitating uh, 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 Vishuddhi Osai, a happy man, no doubt he was, yes, in the contention, in the running. But what really proved to be the game changer for him was the way that the tribal vote really shifted towards the BJP in this election. And that's why the BJP has decided to give the chief minister chair to a tribal phase, only the second tribal chief minister in Chhattisgarh after Ajit Jogi. And there's no doubt that the BJP has also considered the repercussions of such a decision on 20. 2024, and they perhaps hope to build on the momentum that they've already received in the 2023 state elections in Chhattisgarh with that big tribal boost that they received and working on that in 2024. There's no better, better way of doing that than to actually name a chief minister from that community. But this is the moment when the announcement was made and you see a slew of MLAs immediately gathered there to garland Vishnu Deosai. We're yet to get details about when the swearing-in ceremony will take place. But the man you see on your screens a grassroots worker, a very close aide also of former Chief Minister Raman Singh, uh, who we also see on stage there. Besides the fact that he served as a union minister, he's uh, someone who's been an MP, now of course has won as an MLA, and so from the 90s to today as a grassroots worker, has largely worked in Chhattisgarh. So this is recognition for his hard work. This is recognition for the tribals also choosing to work for the BJP. And in the Chhattisgarh, the first time, 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 the the और विधायक दल के बैठक में प्रवेशक के रूप में प्रभारी के रूप में हम सब शामिल हुए और वहां मैंने विधायक दल के बैठक में विधायक दल के नेता के लिए प्रस्ताव मांगा श्री डॉक्टर रमन सिंह जी ने प्रस्ताव किया उसके साथ साथ ही ब्रजमोहन अग्रवाल जी ने प्रदेश अध्यक्ष अरुण साहु जी ने और लता उसेंडी जी ने समर्थन किया साथ ही साथ पूरे सदन ने सर्व समिति से इस समर्थन का मुहर लगाते हुए सर्व समिति से पारित किया इतना उत्साह था विधायकों में ट्राइबल फेस है किस तरह से फायदा ट्राइबल फेस है किस तरह से फायदा होगा आपको लगता है अगर चुनाव की बात देखे यहाँ के एक बहुत ही सरल सहज जनजातीय परिवार के सदस्य विष्णुदेव साय को मौका विधायक दल ने दिया है इस राज्य के आकांक्षा को पूरा करने के लिए संगठन के नीति सिद्धांतों के साथ विष्णु सा, विष्णुदेव साय जी अच्छा कार्य करते हुए जनमानस को यहाँ के जनता को न्याय मिले या सुनिश्चित करेंगे और इस राज्य का विकास सिंह ने जब जब वो प्रस्ताव लाए तो क्या उन्होंने कहा किस तरह से प्रस्ताव लाए क्या क्या रखते हो क्या कहा रमन सिंह ने जब वो प्रस्ताव लाए उनके नाम विधायक दल के नेता के रूप में उनके अनुभव का लाभ मिलेगा एक सहज सरल तरीके से सर्वमान्य होकर के काम करने वाले व्यक्तित्व के रूप में उनका परिचय है लंबे अरसे तक उन्होंने जनप्रतिनिधि के रूप में काम किया है सर डिप्टी सीएम का प्रावधान होगा मुंडा जी आप एक एक लाइन बता दें मुंडा जी डिप्टी सीएम का प्रावधान होगा तो आप देख सकते हैं सर सब आप लोग आप लोग करते रहिए जो सर आप आप बताएंगे आप बताएंगे सर आपके कुछ भी कुछ कह रही है ये तो तय था कि आप अगर प्रभारी बन के आ रहे हैं तो कोई आदिवासी चेहरा होगा झारखंड में मध्य प्रदेश में इम्पैक्ट पड़ेगा सर देखे भारतीय जनता पार्टी है जी जिसने जनजातीय समाज के लिए आजादी के लंबे कालखंड के बाद किसी सरकार ने यदि काम किया तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार ने एनडीए सरकार ने आदरणीय नरेंद्र भाई मोदी के नेतृत्व में देश की प्रथम नागरिक आज जनजातीय महिला राष्ट्रपति के रूप में सुशोभित है 
इसके साथ साथ ही जनजातीय गौरव दिवस के रूप में भगवान बिरसा मुंडा के जन्म स्थान और उनके जन्मदिन को एक अभूतपूर्व तरीके से मनाने का गौरव के साथ मनाने का आह्वान किया है और आज आप देख रहे हैं कि हमारे जैसे एक अदना कार्यकर्ता को भारत सरकार में मंत्री का दायित्व तो दिया गया है आज मुख्यमंत्री छत्तीसगढ़ में एक जनजातीय परिवार से चुने गए मेरा सवाल यही था झारखंड में Okay, so that's uh, Arjun Munda, Central Observer, who was sent down by the BJP High Command to Raipur to convey the decision of the High Command, highlighting that Vishnu Deosai uh, is in fact the chosen one, and why he's been picked by the High Command. Dr. Raman Singh has also just posted, hailing the decision to name Vishnu Deosai. Remember that uh, Vishnu Deosai is a close aide of Dr. Raman Singh, so he's also put out a message saying that I'm confident that uh, under Vishnu Deosai's leadership, uh, Prime Minister. Mr. Modi's guarantees of development will be fulfilled. The other big breaking news that's also coming in right now with regards to this announcement is that there will be two deputy chief ministers in the state of Chhattisgarh. So interestingly, the BJP adopting a formula of ensuring there are deputy CMs to accommodate other leaders. Now, are we going to be seeing a Renuka Singh and Arun Tao perhaps being named as deputy chief ministers? A big question mark on that we have to wait and see what the announcement for that looks like or who the two deputy chief ministers will be but the bjp perhaps is looking to accommodate faces looking to ensure that the right message is sent across to communities who voted for them in large numbers and to ensure they get their equation right in the run up to 2024 as well piyush mishra is live with us to get you a sense of the celebrations i'm not sure if piyush is with us can you hear me piyush हमारे साथ हैं ब्रिजमोहन अग्रवाल आपको बता दें की छत्तीसगढ़ में कद्दावर नेता है बीजेपी के बात करते हैं उनसे जो नया अनाउंसमेंट हुआ है विष्णुदेव सहाय का मुख्यमंत्री के तौर पर सर विष्णुदेव सहाय अब छत्तीसगढ़ के अगले मुख्यमंत्री होंगे कितनी बड़ी बात है ये प्रदेश निश्चित रूप से देश के अनुसूचित जनजाति समाज को पहले राष्ट्रपति बनाकर सम्मान दिया और अब एक प्रदेश का मुख्यमंत्री बनाकर सम्मान दिया है इसके लिए हम केंद्रीय नेतृत्व को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देते हैं उनका आभार व्यक्त करते हैं इस तरह से प्रस्ताव आया उनके नाम का उनके नाम का प्रस्ताव रमन सिंह जी ने रखा और समर्थन अरुण साहू जी ने किया लता हुसैनी जी ने किया हमने किया और पुन्नू लाल मोहल्ले जी ने किया साहि जी का जो नाम आया इससे कितना फायदा पार्टी को होने वाला निश्चित रूप से अनुसूचित जनजाति समाज हमारे बीजेपी के साथ में और बड़ी संख्या में जुड़ेगा और बीजेपी की ताकत बढ़ेगी चौबीस के मिशन के लिए कितने तैयार है बीजेपी पूरी तरह तैयार मोदी मोदी लीडरशिप का कहीं ना कहीं इसमें मार्क देखा गया था दो हजार चौबीस के लिए पूरी तरह से तैयार है दैट्स दी वर्ड कमिंग इन फ्रॉम टॉप बीजेपी लीडर बिजमोहन अग्रवाल मैं बताया था ही इज दी फॉर्मर मिनिस्टर ही वॉज इन फैक्ट former minister he was uh, in fact uh, also holding important uh, position here uh, in uh, the party in uh, the state uh, while speaking to us he has told us that um, the name of vishnu desai is going to help party a lot not only uh, you know in, in running the government but also in uh, uh, running uh, the organization and uh, also help uh, the party to have a better uh, prospects in uh, lok sabha elections 2024 akshita All right, Piyush, getting us conversations there with the uh, MLAs who are now endorsing and hailing the move to name Vishnu Deosai as the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. He is a face who's been confirming that yes, I'm in the contention. But was he a front runner? Well, the BJP uh, did play its cards close to the chest. But there were many who were speculating that perhaps Renuka Singh, Raman Singh had an edge in the game. But what really has worked in Vishnu Deosai's favour is, of course, that he comes from a tribal background. Is the fact that he's been a crucial role uh, in ensuring that the bjp is reached right up to this level was he one of the instrumental game changers really for the bjp in chatisgarh many would say not really he wasn't like a turning figure or the biggest face of this election by any means that was prime minister modi for the bjp but 
As the BJP chief of Chhattisgarh from 2020 to 2022, he's played an instrumental role in ensuring that the work at the grassroots level was done, setting the base for the massive victory that the BJP enjoyed now uh, just last week in Chhattisgarh. And 54 MLAs, that's why, are now going ahead and backing Vishnudhyo Sai, it seems, as the next chief minister of Chhattisgarh. For seven days, there have been hectic parlays in Raipur as well as in Delhi. The decision has now been made. Let's get you a conversation that Rahul Kaval had with Vishnu Diyosai from a few days ago while there was still suspense on who could be the next chief minister. Do you think that because the tribals were so big in the Bharati Janta Party in Chhattisgarh, so this is quite logical for people to expect that there will be a new tribal chief minister in Chhattisgarh? देखिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी में मुख्यमंत्री कौन होंगे इसका तय करने का काम हमारे राष्ट्रीय नेतृत्व को है जो संसदीय बोर्ड होता है उनको है और इस बार भी छत्तीसगढ़ में वही होगा हमारा राष्ट्रीय नेतृत्व ही यहां पर मुख्यमंत्री तय करेंगे नहीं पर जब गृह मंत्री अमित शाह आए थे और वो हर चीज जो बोलते हैं बड़ा केयरफुली बोलते हैं तो उन्होंने जिक्र किया था कि इनके लिए हमने कुछ बड़ा सोचा है उन्होंने जब बोला ट्राइबल्स वोटर्स को उन्होंने वोट मांगा उन्होंने बोला कि आपके लिए कुछ बड़ा सोचा है आप कुछ बड़ा सोचा है तो उसके बाद तो मैं ही सोच रहा हूँ कि क्या पता सीएम ही सोचा है नहीं ऐसा नहीं है अब बड़ा सोचे हैं तो वही जानेंगे कि क्या सोचे हैं लेकिन मैं तो एक गांव का छोटा कार्यकर्ता हूँ भारतीय जनता पार्टी का और लगातार तीन वर्षों तक पार्टी ने मुझे विभिन्न दायित्वों पर काम करने का अवसर दिया है दो बार विधायक रहा हूँ चार बार सांसद रहा हूँ तीन बार प्रदेश का अध्यक्ष रहा हूँ मोदी जी के पहले शासनकाल में एम का दायित्व मिला था तो मैं तो अपने को बड़ा सौभाग्यशाली समझता हूँ कि गांव के छोटे से कार्यकर्ता को पार्टी ने इतना उपकृत किया है और आगे भी जो भी पार्टी का आदेश होगा जहाँ पर भी जिस रूप में काम करना पार्टी आदेश करेगी वो हमारे लिए मान्य होगा हमारे लिए सिरोधार्य रहेगा अच्छा एक चीज और ये बताइए कि अगर आपको मुख्यमंत्री बनने का मौका मिलता है तो फिर रमन सिंह की तुलना में या फिर भूपेश बघेल की तुलना में छत्तीसगढ़ की जनता को और देश की जनता को क्या एक्सपेक्ट करना चाहिए आपके हिसाब से छत्तीसगढ़ के सबसे बड़े चैलेंजेस इस वक्त क्या है और चीफ मिनिस्टर बने ना बने वो आपके हाथ में भी नहीं है और हम भी नहीं जानते लेकिन अगर मौका मिलता है तो छत्तीसगढ़ की डेवलपमेंट प्रायोरिटीज साई साहब आपके हिसाब से क्या होनी चाहिए देखिए छत्तीसगढ़ में एक तो छत्तीसगढ़ का निर्माण भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने किया है सरदे अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी जब प्रधानमंत्री थे तो उन्होंने छत्तीसगढ़ का निर्माण किया और छत्तीसगढ़ उस समय एक गरीब और बीमारू प्रदेश के रूप में जाना जाता था लेकिन लगातार पंद्रह वर्षों तक भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार ने छत्तीसगढ़ का चहुमुखी विकास करने का काम किया है नरेंद्र मोदी जिंदाबाद नरेंद्र मोदी जिंदाबाद जेपी नड्डा जिंदाबाद We're going to get you the first reaction from Vishnu Diyosai in just a few moments. Give us a, a few minutes to really get that connection up because he's speaking right now after being named as the next Chhattisgarh chief minister, after being the chosen one by the BJP high command. You can see that all the MLAs also were seen felicitating, uh, going ahead and garlanding him after the announcement was made at the CLP meeting. But fresh blood once again being chosen by the BJP for the state of Chhattisgarh and we're going to get you all the reactions coming in. It looks like this is a decision taken by the High Command that the state unit is completely in agreement with. As I mentioned, there were at least three factors that worked in favor of Vishnu Diyosai. First, of course, his tribal background to the fact that the BJP had an overwhelming uh, mandate from the tribal seats in Chhattisgarh this time around. Second, the fact that he's a grassroots worker and third, the kind of uh, uh, experience he said, whether as a union minister, a former MP, or as the Chhattisgarh BJP chief from 2020 to 2022. We're going to continue getting you all the latest reactions. One down.
two more to go. The BJP has announced the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. Are we going to be seeing a similar announcement in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan? We'll tell you on the other side. You are watching India Today. For an immersive journey into the heart of news, politics, and insights that matter. Join India Today now on WhatsApp. Scan the QR code. First of all, let me say that the relations between Russia and India are consistently developing in all the areas, and the main guarantor for that is the policy led by Prime Minister Modi, His Excellency. Russian President Vladimir Putin praising Prime Minister Narendra Modi's strong India first stance. In no uncertain terms, President Putin told the audience Narendra Modi could not be intimidated even though he was aware that several attempts had been made to browbeat the Indian Prime Minister. First of all, let me say that the relations between Russia and India are consistently developing in all the areas, and the main guarantor for that is the policy led by Prime Minister Modi, His Excellency. is one of the politicians of the global scale that I was talking about previously without giving the names. I cannot imagine His Excellency Modi getting intimidated or being forced to take any steps or actions that would go against the national interests of India and the people of India. And there is pressure against him, I am aware of that. Since the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine conflict in 2022, the Western Bloc mounted pressure on India not to buy oil from Russia. Despite repeated coercion, India did not back down and put Indian national interest first. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar repeatedly articulated India's point of view of the Modi government putting Indian national interest first. Several Western countries have directly or indirectly made attempts to browbeat India in the past, including at times threatening India with sanctions to fall in line. There were reports that the US was trying to threaten India with sanctions to back down from the S-400 missile defense shield procurement from Russia. Despite threats of sanction, India went ahead with the deal, saying it predated US sanctions on Russia and was in India's interest. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjtag.com. It is a medicine that is popped indiscriminately. It would be difficult to find any woman who has not used it. It is available over the counter like many other drugs and bought easily. The indiscriminate use of this drug, Meftal Spas, which is extremely popular, particularly among women who are on their period. It's available over the counter and is being sold and consumed indiscriminately. It's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory from the NSAID category. But the government says, do not use it the way you have been using it. Indiscriminate use can't be allowed. The side effects and the adverse reactions associated with this drug, which is often in fact seen up to eight weeks 
after using this pill is that there can be stomach ulcers, there can be bleeding in the stomach, there can be dress syndrome, which is in fact rashes that can be seen. And that's the reason why, because of the manner in which this affects many women and the internal organs of women and others who've been consuming it, given that this is a painkiller, the government has issued an advisory with its use and with the way it should be sold. Mephthal's main composition is mephenamic acid and it is a painkiller that is used to elevate muscle and joint pain and period pain. It can also help with sore throat, nerve pain and muscle aches. These drugs... The drug is sold under various brand names that include Mephthal, Mephkine P, Ponston, Mephanom and Ebuclin P, among others. They can't be sold without prescriptions. The Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission has issued a drug safety alert saying that consumers and healthcare professionals are advised to closely monitor the possibility of adverse drug reaction associated with this. Problem experts say it's not just confined to Mephthal's past but to the growing menace of indiscriminate use of OTC drugs, even antibiotics, which should never be sold without a prescription. All right, the big breaking news that we're tracking this hour, the suspense over who will be the Chhattisgarh chief minister has come to an end. It's Vishnu Deosai and the other big news break that we're getting to you is the confirmation that the state of Chhattisgarh will now have two deputy chief ministers as well. Who will they be? We don't really know just yet. The BGP hasn't named the two deputy chief ministers, but we have confirmation for you exclusively here on India Today that two deputy CMs will also be inducted along with the chief minister now, Vishnu Deosai. So you could see essentially other communities also being accommodated considering that it is a tribal who's been chosen as the next chief minister of Chhattisgarh. Are we going to see other communities who voted overwhelmingly in favor of the BJP to ensure they won 54 seats in Chhattisgarh also get accommodated as deputy chief ministers? We'll have to wait and watch to see when the BJP unveils those names. But for the moment, I want you to listen to the first reaction of of Vishnu Deosai moments after he's been named as the next Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. Vidhan Sabha ka chhatwaan baithak chhatwaan Chhattisgarh Vidhan Sabha ka pahela baithak isme Chhattisgarh Vidhan Sabha ka vidhayak dal sarva sammati se मुझे अपना नेता चुना है और इस अवसर पर मैं बहुत ही आनंदित हूं और ऐसे अवसर में मैं सबसे पहले भारतीय जनता पार्टी का आभार व्यक्त करना चाहूंगा जिन्होंने गांव के एक छोटे से कार्यकर्ता के ऊपर इतना बड़ा विश्वास व्यक्त किया आज छत्तीसगढ़ सरकार का नेतृत्व करने का अवसर दिया है इसलिए मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी का आभारी हूं साथ ही साथ हमारे देश के यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी माननीय गृह मंत्री अमित शाह जी हमारे राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष आदरणीय जेपी नड्डा जी राष्ट्रीय नेतृत्व 
उनका मैं आभार व्यक्त करना चाहूंगा जिन्होंने एक छोटे से कार्यकर्ता पर इतना आभार भरोसा जताया साथ ही साथ साथ ही साथ हमारे जो प्रदेश के जो प्रभारी थे और चुनाव के भी प्रभारी थे आदरणीय ओम माथुर जी सह प्रभारी आदरणीय मनसुख पांडुया जी आदरणीय नितिन नवीन जी और हमारे प्रदेश के नेतृत्व उनका सबका मैं आभारी हूं जिन्होंने हम पर विश्वास व्यक्त किया है सभी नवनिर्वाचित विधायकों का भी मैं आभारी हूं जिन्होंने विश्वास व्यक्त किया है मैं पूरी ईमानदारी के साथ वो सबके विश्वास में खरा उतरने का प्रयास करूंगा और मोदी की गारंटी में जो हमारी पार्टी ने छत्तीसगढ़ की जनता से वादा किया है उसको प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री के नाते सरकार के माध्यम से शत प्रतिशत पूरा कराने का हमारा प्रयास होगा आप सभी लोगों को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद पहला पहला क्या मोदी की गारंटी अठारह लाख आवास की सुविधा पहला काम चलिए धन्यवाद नीचे बैठ जाएंगे तो वहाँ पे इंतजाम करूँ नीचे क्या बैठ नीचे देखते हैं आप सब लोग एक बार एक बार मेरी आप एक बार मेरी आप करवा दो हाँ Okay, so first uh, statements coming in there from Vishnu Deosai uh, as the Chief Minister designate says he will fulfill Modi's guarantees uh, and uh, uh, considering of course uh, that the Prime Minister was someone who campaigned long and hard in Chhattisgarh spoke repeatedly saying that Modi's guarantees of development you've got now uh, Vishnu Deosai also confirming that saying I will fulfill all of Modi's guarantees and has also said that the very first decision by the new government will be to ensure that the 18 lakh rupees housing scheme is made a reality. It was one of the promises of the BJP which did get a lot of attention and now Vishnu Deosai confirming that that will be the first move once he's sworn in as the chief minister. And besides that, also speaking about 2024, saying that yes, we will ensure a similar victory for uh, the BJP in the state of Chhattisgarh. Let's cut across to an exclusive conversation with Renuka Singh, who is considered to be one of the contenders for the CM chair. Mantri banenge is par mujhe koi chacha nahi. Party jiska naam tay karegi, usse hi agli jawab dari di jayegi. Main to abhi cabinet cabinet ki baitha kora. Cabinet ministers kab chune jayenge? Kya uspe koi charcha hui? Nahi, us par bhi abhi rashtriya niti to aur Pradesh niti to tay karega ki koi deputy CM honge ya koi mantri honge. Is par mujhe abhi koi jankari nahi hai. Sab ra. हमारा नेतृत्व तय करता है आज सिर्फ सीएम के पोस्ट पर चर्चा हुई है और नाम हाँ आज केवल एक ही पद के लिए प्रस्ताव रखे गए और उसका हम सब लोगों ने समर्थन किया एक ही पद के लिए प्रस्ताव रखे गए हैं सबने समर्थन किया है रेणुका सिंह इनका नाम ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी में महिलाओं में सबसे आगे चल रहा था हमने लगातार आपको ये बताया है कि किस तरह से ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी से जो मुख्यमंत्री होगा वो चुना जाएगा लेकिन रेणुका सिंह जी का नाम भी आगे चल रहा था अगर किसी महिला को so that is a conversation that uh, my colleague Sumi was having with Renuka Singh, who is one of the contenders to be chief minister. But she has said that she's hopeful of being a minister and has also told us exclusively here on India Today that she believes the high command is yet to decide who will be the two deputy chief ministers, which uh, portfolio will go to which leader and who will be the ministers of the new Vishnu Dio Sai government in Chhattisgarh. So the parleys, the talks, the backroom dialogue, all of that still underway at this point. But there's a sense of celebration, a mood of jubilation on ground as you see on your screens there. Because after seven days, the BJP has arrived at a consensus that it is going to be Vishnu Dio Sai, uh, who is the next chief minister of Chhattisgarh. A decision that seems to have been agreeable with all MLA 
face, all legislators right now. Just a brief profile, and that will explain to you why Vishnu Sai was chosen. Besides, of course, his tribal roots, he joined the BJP in 1980 and since then has been a loyal part of the Bharatiya Janata Party, has been instrumental in several BJP wins at the state level and also in the general elections. A two-term MLA, a four-time MP, has served two times as the BJP's chief of Chhattisgarh and also one term as a union minister. So he's got a whole lot of experience to back him. A two-term MLA, four-term MP, served as a union minister, served as the BJP Chhattisgarh chief and that's why the BJP has gone ahead and chosen him. Now at this point, uh, it, it will be interesting to see what the composition of the cabinet looks like and also importantly, who will be the two deputy chief ministers. in your mind that the biggest factor that worked in favor of Vishnu Deosai being named as the next Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh is the fact that he represents tribals in the state of Chhattisgarh. The BJP's numbers, if you look at really the jump that they saw from 2018 to now, to 2023, their tally was three in tribal dominated areas in 2018. From that, they jumped to 17 in tribal dominated seats. And that explains to you why the BJP felt the need to ensure there was a tribal face who's made the chief minister. The BJP swept this particular belt in Chhattisgarh. In Bastar and the Sarguja regions, the BJP witnessed what was nothing short of a wave. Eight out of the 12 tribal seats in Bastar went to the Saffron Party. And it was uh, unprecedented, essentially, the way BJP has made inroads in the tribal belt in Chhattisgarh. All 14 seats from Congress in Sarguja region have been won by the BJP. These were all seats with the Congress. The BJP has wrested it from the Congress and won all 14 seats in Sarguja. And remember that as a result of that, former Deputy Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh, T.S. Singh Dio, one of the biggest faces of the Chhattisgarh Congress, was also defeated. The uh, Congress uh, Chief of Chhattisgarh, Deepak Bai, also defeated. And all of this was because of the fact that tribals overwhelmingly voted for the BJP. उन्होंने यहाँ के एक छोटे से कार्यकर्ता के ऊपर इतना बड़ा विश्वास व्यक्त किया कि आज छत्तीसगढ़ सरकार का नेतृत्व करने का अवसर दिया है इसलिए मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी का आभारी हूँ साथ ही साथ हमारे देश के यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी माननीय गृह मंत्री अमित शाह जी हमारे राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष आदरणीय जेपी नड्डा जी राष्ट्रीय नेतृत्व उनका मैं आभार व्यक्त करना चाहूंगा जिन्होंने एक छोटे से कार्यकर्ता पर इतना आभार भरोसा जताया साथ ही साथ साथ ही साथ हमारे जो प्रदेश के जो प्रभारी थे और चुनाव के भी प्रभारी थे आदरणीय ओम माथुर जी सह प्रभारी आदरणीय मनसुख पांडुया जी आदरणीय नितिन नवीन जी और हमारे प्रदेश के नेतृत्व उनका सबका मैं आभारी हूँ जिन्होंने हम पर विश्वास व्यक्त किया है सभी नवनिर्वाचित विधायकों का भी मैं आभारी हूँ जिन्होंने विश्वास व्यक्त किया है मैं पूरी ईमानदारी के साथ वो सबके विश्वास में खरा उतरने का प्रयास करूंगा और मोदी की गारंटी में जो हमारी पार्टी ने छत्तीसगढ़ की जनता से वादा किया है उसको प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री के नाते सरकार के माध्यम से शत प्रतिशत पूरा कराने का हमारा प्रयास होगा आप सभी लोगों को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद पहला पहला का so that is the first reaction from the CM designate there. We are yet to get details of the swearing in ceremony or what the cabinet will look like, but we have that confirmation that there will be two deputy chief ministers. Let's quickly round up for you all the reactions that have come in since the announcement was made that Vishnu Deosai is the next chief minister of Chhattisgarh. All MLAs are on board, and that's clear from the reactions that you're about to hear. कैसी रही ये प्रक्रिया कितना बड़ा टास्क है 
देखिए विधायक दल की बैठक हुई और विधायक दल के बैठक में पर्यवेक्षक के रूप में प्रभारी के रूप में हम सब शामिल हुए और वहां मैंने विधायक दल के बैठक में विधायक दल के नेता के लिए प्रस्ताव मांगा श्री डॉक्टर रमन सिंह जी ने प्रस्ताव किया उसके साथ साथ ही ब्रजमोहन अग्रवाल जी ने प्रदेश अध्यक्ष अरुण साहू जी ने और लता उसेंडी जी ने समर्थन किया साथ ही साथ पूरे सदन ने सर्व समिति से इस समर्थन का मुहर लगाते हुए सर्व समिति से पारित किया इतना उत्साह था विधायकों में ट्राइबल फेस है किस तरह से फायदा देखिए ट्राइबल फेस है किस तरह से फायदा होगा आपको लगता है अगर तो 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 बात करें देखे यहाँ के एक बहुत ही सरल सहज जनजातीय परिवार के सदस्य विष्णुदेव साय को मौका विधायक दल ने दिया है इस राज्य के आकांक्षा को पूरा करने के लिए हमारा ये पूरी जवाबदारी संभालें अभी घोषणा होगी हमारे साथ हैं ब्रिजमोहन अग्रवाल आपको बता दें कि छत्तीसगढ़ में कद्दावर नेता है बीजेपी के बात करते हैं उनसे जो नया अनाउंसमेंट हुआ है विष्णुदेव सहाय का मुख्यमंत्री के तौर पर सर विष्णुदेव सहाय अब छत्तीसगढ़ के अगले मुख्यमंत्री होंगे कितनी बड़ी बात है ये प्रदेश निश्चित रूप से देश के अनुसूचित जनजाति समाज को पहले राष्ट्रपति बनाकर सम्मान दिया और अब एक प्रदेश का मुख्यमंत्री बनाकर सम्मान दिया है इसके लिए हम केंद्रीय नेतृत्व को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देते हैं उनका आभार व्यक्त करते हैं इस तरह से प्रस्ताव आया उनके नाम का उनके नाम का प्रस्ताव रमन सिंह जी ने रखा और समर्थन अरुण साहू जी ने किया लता उसेंडी जी ने किया हमने किया कुन्नू लाल मोहल्ले जी ने किया साहू जी का जो नाम आया इससे कितना फायदा पार्टी को होने वाला निश्चित रूप से अनुसूचित जनजाति समाज हमारे बीजेपी के साथ में और बड़ी संख्या में जुड़ेगा और बीजेपी की ताकत बढ़ेगी चौबीस के मिशन के लिए कितनी तैयार है बीजेपी पूरी तरह तैयार आज राष्ट्रीय नेतृत्व ने प्रदेश नेतृत्व ने माननीय विष्णुदेव साय जी को विधायक दल का नेता चुना है और वो हमारे देश हमारे प्रदेश की अब बागडोर संभालेंगे मुझे इस बात की खुशी है कि हमारे सरगुजा संभाग से और छत्तीसगढ़ के इतिहास में पहली बार किसी आदिवासी समुदाय के एक किसान परिवार के साधारण से कार्यकर्ता को विधायक दल का नेता चुना है नरेंद्र मोदी पर जनता के विश्वास और मोदी की गारंटी पर भरोसा से जनता ने समर्पित किया है नरेंद्र मोदी के मार्गदर्शन में राज्य की सरकार बनेगी विष्णुदेव सहाय विधायक दल के नेता के रूप में सभी माननीय सदस्य गण ने उसको सिलेक्ट किया है मैं विश्वास रखता हूं और मुझे पूरी श्रद्धा है कि जनता की आकांक्षाओं को पूरी करने के लिए विष्णुदेव सहाय जी के नेतृत्व में सरकार काम करेगी so those are all the reactions that have come in since the announcement was made that it is vishnu deosai who is the next chief minister of chatisgarh the bjp has always played their cards close to their chest not really revealing who could be the next chief minister but listen in to what union minister amit shah has said which many believe was then a hint that perhaps vishnu deosai was the chosen one he'd said that if vishnu deosai wins he will get a plum post देश को सुरक्षित करने का माताओं भाइयों बहनों विष्णुदेव जी हमारे अनुभवी कार्यकर्ता है नेता है सांसद रहे विधायक रहे प्रदेश अध्यक्ष रहे एक अनुभवी नेता को आपके सामने भारतीय जनता पार्टी लेकर आई है आप इनको विधायक बना दो उनको बड़ा आदमी बनाने का काम हम करेंगे हम करेंगे मुझे बताओ विष्णु देवताए को जिताएंगे क्या अरे ऐसे नहीं जीतते भाई जोर से बोलो जिताएंगे कमल के निशान पर बटन दबाएंगे और राजा चंद्राकर जी ने प्रस्ताव का समर्थन किया भारतीय जनता पार्टी का एक सामान्य कार्यकर्ता विष्णुदेव साय जी तब छत्तीसगढ़ के नए मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में मनोनीत किए गए
कैसा लग रहा है ट्राइबल बहुल्य क्षेत्र को ट्राइबल सीएम मिल रहा है और क्या डेप्यूटी सीएम दो बनाए जाएंगे अभी ऐसी कोई घोषणा नहीं हुई लेकिन माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी के रूप में विष्णु देवसाय जी मनोनीत हुए विधायक दल के नेता के रूप में अभी राजभवन जाकर बतौर मुख्यमंत्री वो एक दस्तावेज हम राज्यभवन को पेश करेंगे महामहिम राज्यपाल जी को और तब हमारी पूरी बैठक की प्रतिपूर्ति वहाँ पर प्रतिवेदन के रूप में प्रस्तुत होगी कितने देर में राजभवन आप लोग विष्णु देसाई जी से निकल ही रहे हैं राजभवन निकल रहे हैं राजभवन ही इज ऑन इज वे टू राजभवन एंड देर बी गिवन We are getting us a confirmation that currently Vishnu Deo Sai is heading to Raj Bhavan, where they will be meeting with the governor. So we are expecting very soon the details with regards to when the swearing in ceremony will take place will be out as well. But let's play out for you a conversation that we had with Vishnu Deo Sai just days ago when Rahul Kaval spoke to him and asked him if he is going to be named as the next Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. क्या आपको लगता है कि चूंकि ट्राइबल्स का इतना बड़ा योगदान था भारतीय जनता पार्टी को छत्तीसगढ़ में ये बड़ी जीत दिलाने में तो ये काफ़ी लॉजिकल है लोगों के लिए एक्सपेक्ट करना कि कोई ट्राइबल ही आ, अगला चीफ मिनिस्टर होगा छत्तीसगढ़ का देखिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी में मुख्यमंत्री कौन होंगे इसका तय करने का काम हमारे राष्ट्रीय नेतृत्व को है जो संसदीय बोर्ड होता है उनको है और इस बार भी छत्तीसगढ़ में वही होगा हमारा राष्ट्रीय नेतृत्व ही यहाँ पर मुख्यमंत्री तय करेंगे नहीं पर जब गृह मंत्री अमित शाह आए थे और वो हर चीज जो बोलते हैं बड़ा केयरफुली बोलते हैं तो उन्होंने जिक्र किया था कि इनके लिए हमने कुछ बड़ा सोचा है उन्होंने जब बोला ट्राइबल्स वोटर्स को उन्होंने वोट मांगा उन्होंने बोला कि आपके लिए कुछ बड़ा सोचा है आप कुछ बड़ा सोचा है तो उसके बाद तो मैं ही सोच रहा हूं कि क्या पता सीएम ही सोचा है नहीं ऐसा नहीं है अब बड़ा सोचे हैं तो वही जानेंगे कि क्या सोचे हैं लेकिन मैं तो एक गांव का छोटा कार्यकर्ता हूं भारतीय जनता पार्टी का और लगातार तीन वर्षों तक पार्टी ने मुझे विभिन्न दायित्वों पर काम करने का अवसर दिया है दो बार विधायक रहा हूँ चार बार सांसद रहा हूँ तीन बार प्रदेश का अध्यक्ष रहा हूं मोदी जी के पहले शासनकाल में एम का दायित्व तो मिला था तो मैं तो अपने को बड़ा सौभाग्यशाली समझता हूं कि गांव के एक छोटे से कार्यकर्ता को पार्टी ने इतना उपकृत किया है और आगे भी जो भी पार्टी का आदेश होगा जहां पर भी जिस रूप में काम करना पार्टी आदेश करेगी वो हमारे लिए मान्य होगा हमारे लिए सिरोधार्य रहेगा अच्छा एक चीज और ये बताइए कि अगर आपको मुख्यमंत्री बनने का मौका मिलता है तो फिर रमन सिंह की तुलना में या फिर भूपेश बघेल की तुलना में छत्तीसगढ़ की जनता को और देश की जनता को क्या एक्सपेक्ट करना चाहिए आपके हिसाब से छत्तीसगढ़ के सबसे बड़े चैलेंजेस इस वक्त क्या हैं और चीफ मिनिस्टर बने ना बने वो आपके हाथ में भी नहीं है और हम भी नहीं जानते लेकिन अगर मौका मिलता है तो छत्तीसगढ़ की डिवेलपमेंट प्रायोरिटीज साई साहब आपके हिसाब से क्या होनी चाहिए देखिए छत्तीसगढ़ में एक तो छत्तीसगढ़ का निर्माण भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने किया है सरदे अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी जब प्रधानमंत्री थे तो उन्होंने छत्तीसगढ़ का निर्माण किया और छत्तीसगढ़ उस समय एक गरीब और बीमारू प्रदेश के रूप में जाना जाता था लेकिन लगातार पंद्रह वर्षों तक भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार ने छत्तीसगढ़ का चहुमुखी विकास करने का काम किया है छत्तीसगढ़ में पहले लोग भूख से मतलब बच्चे उपवास होते थे कोई कोई मर भी जाते थे लेकिन आज अगर छत्तीसगढ़ में भूखमरी नहीं है गरीब लोगों में अगर एक रुपया किलो का चावल उनको मिल रहा है तो भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी की देन है आ, तो इस तरह से सारा विकास का काम छत्तीसगढ़ में भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार ने किया है चाहे वो गाँव गाँव को डामर रोड से जोड़ने का काम प्रधानमंत्री ग्राम सड़क योजना हो या जितने नदी नाले हैं उसमें बृहद पुल का निर्माण हो या फिर विकास खंड स्तर में कॉलेज की स्थापना हो चिकित्सा के लिए अस्पताल की स्थापना हो सारा विकास का काम छत्तीसगढ़ में पंद्रह वर्षों में भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सरकार ने किया है जितने भी शिक्षण के संस्थाएं हैं इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज मेडिकल कॉलेज आई आई ये सब सारा जो शिक्षा का वो है सब कुछ छत्तीसगढ़ में भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सरकार ने किया है
And Vishnu Deosai now, ladies and gentlemen, is all set to be the next Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. We'll be getting you exclusive details about when the swearing-in ceremony will be, who will be the two Deputy Chief Ministers, and of course, the question of the two other states, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Are we going to be seeing the BJP announcing fresh faces as the Chief Ministers of these two states as well? We'll get you all the latest on that and much more political action coming in from Chhattisgarh on the other side of a very, very short break. He's played a very, very important role. Italy has officially told China it is leaving the Belt and Road Initiative. That's according to government sources on Wednesday. It's He's played a very, very important role as well. He's played a very important role in this current uh, BJP win in Chhattisgarh. But this is a big decision by the BJP High Command because they've decided clearly to go with a tribal face, which obviously means that the BJP is also going ahead and sending out a message that they're taking note of the fact that tribal votes did come their way. And that's why Vishnu Deosai has been named. He's also got a lot of prior administrative experience. He served as, in fact, uh, the uh, chief of uh, the BJP Chhattisgarh unit from 2020 till 2022, has served as a union minister, uh, it was, in fact, an MOS for Mines and Steel. This was back in the 2014 Modi cabinet, uh, highly, highly regarded among tribal voters. So that's why this decision also is extremely crucial. And that's perhaps what gave him really the leg up as far as this CM race in Chhattisgarh is concerned. We're expecting a form Formal announcement anytime now, but the central leadership has proposed his name. It's expected that all 54 BJP MLAs will go ahead and give their nod for Vishnu Deosai as well. He was in the contention, Piyush. His name was brought up several times, uh, but it looks like the biggest factor that went in Vishnu Deosai's favor is the fact that the BJP has decided to go ahead and choose a prominent tribal face as the chief minister. <laughs> Well, certainly, Akshita, and uh, you would remember the rally of Amit Shah, where uh, in the presence of Vishnu Desai, he had of uh, Vishnu Desai, and after that, the final lord was He's given. played a we very, very seen... important role as well. He's played a very important role in this current uh, BJP win in Chhattisgarh. But this is a big decision by the BJP High Command because they decided clearly to go with a tribal face, which obviously means that the BJP is also going ahead and sending out a message that they're taking note of the fact the tribal votes did come their way. That's why Vishnu Deosai has been named. He's also got a lot of prior administrative experience. He served as, in fact, the chief of the BJP Chhattisgarh unit from 2020 till 2022, has served as a union minister. It was, in fact, an MOS for Mines and Steel. This was back in the 2014 Modi cabinet, highly, highly regarded among tribal voters. So that's why this decision also is extremely crucial. And that's perhaps what gave him really the leg up as far as this CM race in Chhattisgarh is concerned. We're expecting a formal announcement anytime now, but the central leadership has proposed his name. It's expected that all 54 BJP MLAs will go ahead and give their nod for Vishnu Deosai as well. He was in the contention, Piyush. His name was brought up several times, uh, but it looks like the biggest factor that went in Vishnu Deosai's favor is the fact that the BJP has decided to go ahead and choose a prominent tribal face as the chief minister. Well, certainly, Akshita, and uh, you would remember the rally of Amit Shah, where uh, in the presence of Vishnu Desai, he had requested people to vote in favor of Vishnu Desai in large numbers. Uh, uh, and uh, in fact, he had uh, a promise to the people that if uh, Vishnu Desai is uh, voted to uh, vote it and become uh, MLA once again, then uh, he will be made a big leader. Now we are seeing that the celebrations have also broken out here. Uh, 
few uh, uh, sloganing is also taking place. Let me try to certify, uh, take you uh, uh, to the visuals. Here are some workers who are uh, raising some uh, uh, slogans. Let's try to hear uh, what they are saying. Uh, so as the announcement uh, takes place uh, from inside uh, the uh, the BJP headquarters, uh, now the celebrations are also taking place. Uh, sloganing is also taking place. Um, let us tell to our viewers what actually happened uh, in that particular rally of uh, Amit Shah. Uh, Amit Shah had said, "Aap uh, Vishnu Dev Sai ko bada banaiye, inko bada mai banaunga." So those were the words um, of uh, Amit Shah. So Vishnu Dev Sai is certainly the uh, choice of uh, top leadership. In fact, he is the one who played an important role uh, in growing the organization here in um, the state of Chhattisgarh. He was the president uh, of party before um, Arun Sahu. He nurtured the party uh, from beginning. Uh, in fact, he played crucial roles uh, in the organization in the BJP organization. In fact, um, he was the one who had, uh, you know, uh, secured a, a victory from the seat of Bilaspur with a margin of more than 1.676 lakh in 2014. Uh, after that, when a party faced a defeat in 2018, uh, Vishnu Sai was replaced by Arun Sao and uh, uh, he was made the president. Uh, Arun Sao led the party campaign in the last um, 14 months and finally, when the name has been uh, announced of Vishnu Sai, it is signifying as to how the role of leadership, central leadership can be clearly seen. Central leadership had given a go ahead for the name of Vishnu Desai and hectic meetings have taken place in national capital and also uh, in the state of Chhattisgarh after which this decision has been taken today in the morning at around 9 o'clock um, all the observers reached here they met with party in charge of uh, Om Mathur uh, and uh, others um, and also what we are given to understand is that um, Central Observers had a meeting one to one meeting with Raman Singh and then a meeting with uh, uh, MLAs all the MLAs and uh, after that itself um, the name of Vishnu Sai has uh, uh, come forward uh, we have to see when is the swearing in ceremony going to take place and yeah. when the formal announcement uh, will be made but that's the main entrance gate of BJP headquarters uh, and behind that, uh, this crucial meeting of all the MLAs uh, took place and in which uh, this uh, big decision has been made. Uh, all the 54 MLAs were present uh, after seven days of hectic meetings. Finally, BJP has been able to zero down on a tribal phase. So you can Achita. see the crowds that have gathered there behind Piyush. You can hear sloganeering by BJP supporters who know that the decision now is in the offing to be made official. Here on India Today, we broke first for you that it's Vishnu Diosai who is going to be the new chief minister of Chhattisgarh. The reason he's been chosen among several other names that were doing the rounds, including you had uh, Raman Singh, you had Arun Tao, you had Renuka Singh, all of them in contention. But Vishnu Diosai has been named by the BJP because of the fact that he's a tribal face. And this time the BJP upped their tally significantly from three in 2018 to 17 in tribal dominated areas. The BJP wants to send across a message that because these tribal dominated areas voted for them in such an overwhelming number compared to last time, they wanted to also ensure that they uh, have a tribal face as chief minister. And it is that factor that's ensured that Vishnu Diosai today is named as the new Chhattisgarh chief minister. And it's expected, Piyush, that this is a decision that will be wholeheartedly welcomed by the BJP Chhattisgarh unit as well. Here's a man with great experience. Here's a man who served as the BJP Chhattisgarh chief and so has had a great amount of work in also ensuring that the groundwork for this victory was laid and also as far as you know the caste equation is concerned ticks all of those boxes <laughs> Certainly, and uh, Vishnu Sai is a prominent tribal face, and uh, tribals here in uh, Chhattisgarh have voted en masse uh, in favor of BJP, and that has somewhere uh, forced the party to announce the name of Vishnu Sai. In few minutes from now, we will also see a formal announcement by the party's leadership of Vishnu Sai. But uh, all the 54 uh, MLAs uh, uh, agreed, and they gave nod on the name of Vishnu Sai. If we talk about this man, remember that in 2014 he had uh, won from Bilaspur seat with a margin of 1.76 lakh. Uh, he, uh, uh, and of, after which, uh, when party faced defeat in 2018, he was replaced by uh, Arun, uh, Arun Sao. Uh, following which, we also saw as to how Vishnu Sai played a crucial role in nurturing the party. Before that, for a very long time, he was uh, the party's uh, chief here in the state. Uh, uh, in fact, he has a very good hold over the tribal community. And because of the support which the party has got from tribals, uh, Vishnu Sai is now the favorite man of central leadership. You would remember that uh, uh, they, um, they were.
have multiple names who are doing round, including the name of Arun Sao, Renuka Singh, Raman Singh, Vishnu Sai. And now finally, uh, uh, final approval has been given on the name of Vishnu Sai. Right behind me, Sloganik is taking place. Um, let me say to you, take to you the visuals which we are right now, uh, you know, uh, seeing here outside uh, the BJP headquarters. Sir, क्या कहेंगे आप Vishnu Sai and अगले मुख्यमंत्री होंगे? निश्चित ही मैं समस्त प्रदेशवासियों को भारतीय जनता पार्टी और प्रदेश के वासियों के जीत पर Suspense over who will be the chief minister of Chhattisgarh has now officially come to an end. As the man you see on your screens, Vishnu Deo Sai is the chosen one. The BJP central leadership has chosen him to become the chief minister of Chhattisgarh, particularly because of his tribal roots. And this announcement was made after an important meeting of the 54 newly elected MLAs of the BJP in Raipur. The central observers conveyed to the MLAs that this is the decision taken by the BJP High Command. After being named as the Chief Minister, Vishnu Deosai said that sanctioning 18 lakh homes to the beneficiaries of the housing scheme will be the first priority of his government. He's also proclaimed that he will fulfill Prime Minister Modi's guarantees. Vishnu Deosai won the Kunkuri uh, Assembly seat in this election in North Chhattisgarh. A former BJP state chief, Deosai was BJP's uh, first choice for the CM post if they were to go with a tribal face. He held various offices, including Union Minister of State for Steel in the first Modi government and uh, Member of Parliament for the Raigad constituency of Chhattisgarh in the Lok Sabha. He is also the BJP Chhattisgarh chief from 2020 to 2022. पार्टी की बड़ी सफलता के लिए छत्तीसगढ़ के लाखों लाखों कार्यकर्ताओं को भी धन्यवाद देना चाहूंगा जिन्होंने रात दिन मेहनत करके भारतीय जनता पार्टी को